What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another video for you guys. This video is going to be my first sneaker review of the year and it's going to be a Salomon sneaker. If you had told me that last year, I would have never believed you. But for me, 2022, at least when it comes to sneakers, is definitely going to be all about trying new things. I know you guys come to this channel mainly for content about Nike, Adidas, New Balance, but there's plenty of brands out there that I feel just don't get enough respect. So in 2022, I definitely want to change that. And we're going to be starting with these bad boys right here in this video. I will be reviewing the Salomon S Lab XT6. What's good guys if you are one of my long-term subscribers welcome back to the channel and thank you for coming back and if you are new here my name is josh i do sneak reviews all types of other sneaker content if you are into that make sure you hit that subscribe button and also while you're at it hit me up on instagram or tiktok i'm dropping a lot of content on there as well so in this video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about the Salomon XT6. I'll get into the history of the brand a little bit, talk about the materials on this sneaker, how comfortable they are, I'll let you know about sizing. And of course, as always, I will be giving you guys that on-feet look, so make sure you stick around until the end of this video. So bam, there you go, the Salomon XT6, this triple white colorway. Now pretty much all of last year, I've had my eye on Salomon sneakers, specifically this XT6 model. There are some other really dope colorways that I wanted, but believe it or not, the resale prices on those models are just through the roof right now, especially this Ren and Kangaroo colorway, which is the one I wanted the most. Salomon does have a bunch of other really dope models as well, like the X-T4. And just a very quick history lesson about the brand because it's definitely new to me and I'm sure it's new for a lot of you guys. This is actually a French company. They started all the way back in 1947. And for pretty much the first 50 years or so of Salomon's existence, they focused mainly on ski equipment. They even became the official ski binding provider for the Olympics during that time. But it wasn't until the 1990s that Salomon decided to focus more on hiking equipment. And they started producing some different types of hiking shoes and trail running shoes. And by the time the early 2000s came along, Salomon was already established as the leading trail running brand, especially with shoes like the Speed Cross. These sneakers right here are made by the S Lab division at Salomon. You can even see it does say Lab on the sneaker right there. And S Lab for Salomon is kind of like Nike Lab for Nike. It's the division that focuses more on performance and tech wear. And the aim of S Lab is to make the most innovative performance wear for trail running and hiking. But to be completely honest with you, I do not care about any of that. I bought these shoes mainly because I think these look really good. And I definitely think they do fit in with where my personal style is right now you can say have been very much influenced by Instagram as well I've been seeing this all over my feed people styling these with different types of outfits and it definitely had me thinking yeah I need a pair of those let's get into the sneakers so the entire upper of the shoe is made out of a combination of mesh and TPU and it is that combination that makes the sneaker water resistant it's not waterproof but it is water resistant on the upper, you also see all that Salomon branding near the back of the sneaker, and it does say S Lab on the medial side. But perhaps my favorite part of the sneaker is right down the middle, you get that Salomon branding, and it does add a nice little pop of color. Another pretty interesting thing about this shoe is the laces. I haven't seen laces like this on a Nike or Adidas model before. It is called a quick lacing system, and I actually really like the system a lot. It's super easy. You just slip your foot into the shoe, and then you just squeeze this tab right here here and push it down to make the shoe tighter and to make it looser very simple push on the tab again and bring it back up so it's just a very simple lacing system you don't have to worry about tying your laces every time as we move towards the bottom of the sneaker yes we can clearly see that this is a trail running shoe you get that trail running bottom which I will say definitely does provide quite a lot of grip the one negative thing I will say about this outsole is that it just doesn't have a whole lot of give. It pretty much is a rock hard outsole, so it's nothing like if you're used to wearing New Balance or Adidas Ultra Boost, for example. Those shoes are just way more comfortable than these, so that's because this was mainly supposed to be a trail running sneaker. So having like a cushiony midsole doesn't make a whole lot of sense for trail running. So it is just something to keep in mind if you're thinking about wearing these shoes all day for just leisure purposes. Although I will say it does come 
come with that Ortholite insole, which definitely does help quite a bit. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention retail price. These did retail for 175 euros in Europe, and I believe in the United States, it is $190. For sizing on these, so I actually went with my true size. I wear a US 11 in most other shoes, and I will say it does fit very narrow, this sneaker. So especially if you have wide feet, I would suggest going a half size up. However, the sneaker is very long in the toe box. So from a length point of view, it does fit me quite well, but it is quite tight in the midfoot. If you have narrow feet, I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to go up half a size. I will personally stick with true to size, but once again, if you have wider feet, definitely go a half up. Let's wrap this thing up. Overall, the Salomon XT6, are these a cop or a drop? So when I just recorded the most recent episode of my podcast, the Kickback Pod, which you can listen to, by the way, on Spotify or Apple Music, I will leave those links in the description. In that episode, I did mention that I felt Salomon would be one of the sneaker brands to watch out for the most in 2022. These sneakers are starting to get a lot of hype, getting a lot more popular. I feel like a lot of people will be buying their first pair of Salomons this year. Yeah, they're not the most comfortable sneakers for everyday use, but I do absolutely love the way they look. And I am excited about trying these out with different types of outfits. And I'm definitely trying to cop more colorways this year. The on-feed portion of the video about to drop right now. Thank you guys once again for messing with the channel and for stopping by. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.